Hi guys, it's Alicia here with my work basket. I'm going to tell you about this cool pocket card that I made. This was a design team item. So this image was provided to me free for being on the design team. The link will be in the description for you to go grab one of those for yourself. I am in love with this project. I kind of started out with like, I don't know, some hesitations. I feel like at this, I, I feel like with digital images, it's really easy to just print it, color it, make something with it. Print it, color it, make something with it, like over and over. And I really wanted to do something different. And so what I did this time was printed her out in a black outline and did a packing tape transfer to transfer her over to this wintry paper. And this is the Winter Wonderland image. So she's holding like a snowy sign. And, and so I wanted to put her on a blue paper. And originally my idea was to print her onto vellum and then put that over top of a bold blue paper to kind of create like that, you know, snowy, icy look. But when I ran into the store, they did not have any vellum. And it kind of sent me back to the drawing board. So I knew I still kind of wanted that same idea, but I couldn't figure out how to do it at first. So, so that's why I decided to go for the packing tape transfer. And then I honestly just mostly worked with what was sitting on my table anyway for December daily. So this pocket card is a basic pocket that you make from 12 by 12 paper. And I'll do another video with a description at some point, but it's a pretty basic pocket. Most people know how to make one. So First I hooked her on there and then I took the definition for cold out of a dictionary and I tore it out, hooked it on. I just got this ribbon in a Christmas card swap. It's actually sitting right next to me somewhere. My table is kind of full, but so I just got that ribbon and I was like, wait a minute, that matches my paper. And then I had this silver cardstock star. I had these silvery stars and this star paper clip all in my December daily box. And they all just matched. And then I just did a little bit of extra washi tape in different places for some extra filler and extra color. And I also did some matching washi tape inside just for a little, little tiny extra punch there. I love to do cards like this because first of all, it's pretty in and of itself. You could take this and display it. You know, it stands up very good. But then also, it stands up very well. But then also what I love to do is to send a card with just all kinds of stuff. So you can put stickers, bags of tea, gifts, letters. So I really love to make cards that are pocket cards because then you're sending the card, you're sending a letter, but you're also sending a bunch of goodies. And so you can just stuff these pockets with all kinds of goodies and little gifts. And it just really kind of ups it into from just a card into like a whole package. So I just love, 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 love the way this came out. This is a holographic star. So it just adds, it's, I just love it. So it was a little bit outside the usual of what most people tend to do with digi stamps. And I just loved it. It came out so nice. I was just super thrilled with it. So I wanted to share that with you. The link to the Digi will be in the description box. The chipboard stars I got in a pack at Joann's in their Park Lane 249 scrapbooking stuff. If I can find that online, I will put that up there for you also. The ribbon was given to me. I have no idea. Um, these I actually got from Scrap Be More. So I have no idea where you can get those. And the star paper clips, I'm sure there are sources for those, but I've had a stash of shaped paper clips for just years that I'm slowly chipping away at. So anything that you can get, I'll put the link in the description box. Oh, and the paper is from Spellbinders. It is from their Celebration Paper Pack and it's discontinued. So you can't get this same paper anymore either, but you could use any kind of blue fun patterned paper. And this is a washi tape that I've had for a long time, but it's a pretty standard, you can probably find polka dot washi tape. So that was my design team project for December 1st. I just love, 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 love the way it came out. So I wanted to do a video and kind of tell you how I pulled that together and what methodology I used. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day. I hope this gives you some ideas and inspirations. And as always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye.